It was absolutely gorgeous out and the perfect time to visit one of the greenest, if not the greenest, metropolitan cities in the entire world. I'm talking about none other than the beautiful Curitiba, Brazil. Let's go. Now, Curitiba may not have the beaches like many of the major cities close to it, but Curitiba is unique in its own way and well worth a visit. The city is known around the world for its history, weather, and sustainability with 559 square feet or 52 square meters of green space per inhabitant. That is insane for a city of over 2 million people. It also has some of the coolest looking bus stops that I have ever seen. Look at these. Now, Curitiba has a great cost of living thanks to an endless supply of condos and affordable housing. This city has one of the lowest poverty rates and other cities could learn a lot from it. It's why they have a per capita income of 66% higher than the national average. So what does it cost to live here? Recent recommendations are around 2,521 hay eyes to live comfortably. That's 533 US dollars for a single person. Yes, that includes rent. As an example, take a look at this amazing Airbnb we snagged for a whopping $175 per week. That's $25 per night equipped with a gym, a pool, secure entry, and plenty of space. Check the link in the description for another video with more details on this specific Airbnb. Now our Airbnb was just outside the famous Battelle district. Known for great shopping and restaurants, this area is gorgeous and easy to walk around. Here you can get a latte for under $3, a high-end cocktail for under $7, and even a full course meal for 22 hay eyes. That's five US dollars. It was delicious, by the way. So let's talk about safety. Curitiba has an incredibly low poverty rate, like I mentioned before, and is known as one of the safest cities in all of Brazil. I never felt unsafe walking the city. One thing to note while walking is that you will see abandoned buildings mixed in all over the skyline. This is completely normal and doesn't reflect an area is unsafe. For instance, the building next to our Airbnb was abandoned, but right behind it was a popular mall bustling with people. Did I mention this mall was a converted train station and still had the trains inside of it? Super cool. The same applies for street art. It is everywhere and often really well done. You will see it covering the buildings in even higher end luxury neighborhoods. It is completely normal and doesn't reflect safety. The Curitiba city government has built 28, yes 28 city parks with enough variety to make anyone happy. The city makes it a point to make 90% of its attractions free and is heavily focused on tourism. We spent one of our days exploring the botanical gardens, which I highly, highly recommend. The geometric garden entrance is an incredible spot for some epic travel photos. Since I'm a ridiculous human, I decided to take my photos in front of the giant Hulk near the cafe. This city is a mix of Italian and Ukraine heritage, and the city makes this known. We spent part of the day exploring the Chingui Park, which is home to a Ukrainian church and a memorial made 100% of wood. I would recommend setting aside two to three hours to explore the church and also walk the trails of this park, parts of which have a completely Amazonian vibe, without the snakes of course. One of my favorite travel spots to visit has to be Tangua Park. It is truly beautiful and picturesque at every turn. We came here to watch the sunset along with hundreds of other locals and tourists. I love how cultures around the world make watching the sunset an event, and I wish Americans would adopt this tradition more. Overall, Curitiba is a great place to visit. I highly recommend and plan on booking another trip back to explore more. Some additional places I recommend visiting while you're here is Bar de Limon, a super vibrant German bar with classic German beer and Jaeger and massive oversized plates of food. We had such a good time here and got way, way too drunk. Also, visit Flower Street, which is a beautiful shopping district with lots of, well, you guessed it, flowers. I'd set aside half a day for this area because it is huge and has tons of shopping. Well, that's all for the first trip to Curitiba. 
Be sure to like and subscribe for future videos, and also check out our Moving and Grooving music playlist on your favorite streaming service. Thanks for watching.